Uh, I don't even know if we need to say anything else other than this. Look at this bread. Mm. So we're going to make a bread salad. Bread salad. Bread and cucumber, grilled cucumber. Grilled Should cucumber, we? grilled zucchini, oh, yeah. and some heirloom tomatoes. What's we'll put some vegetables in the salad, I guess. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you, put some vegetables. you always have whole, you always have bread. Like you buy a big loaf, and I, you know, That's there's huge. only two of us eating real food at home. Yeah. There's always bread left over, and I don't like freezing stuff and doing stuff like that. Yeah. So what do you do with it? You cook it up. You make some bread salad. Make some bread salad. Yeah. Why not? So basically, what I want you to do, we're just waiting for this pan to heat up a little bit. Yes. Don't be afraid of the olive oil. You know, it's good for your skin. Well, clearly it's good you're for the not. <laughs> Look it's, at how much we're using. It's a little bit of olive oil. It's nice. Got a lot of bread there. Bit, I know, it's that's easy. true. It's Go all crazy. Right now, right? <laughs> um, we're going to use two pans because we're going to try to make this in real time. Just like the last salad, six minutes, we got to okay. get it done. Let's do it. It's getting, so, it's getting there. It's there? Not just really. Just pretend that you're feeding the ducks. Okay. Right? You can yes, do that? I can do that. Brilliant. It's one for the duck, one for me. There you go. <laughs> That's how I feed ducks. That's allowed. That's allowed. <laughs> how is it? It's great. Perfect. What kind of bread is it? That's uh, what we make at the restaurant. So we make about mm. eight loaves of that every day. That's so good. It's tasty. It how do you stay sandwiches. so thin? I, I move around a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, that goes on. And, you know, I'd I just, be eating I, one of these a day. I always say to my wife that I have like 10 meals a day because I just go around and pick a little bit here and a little yeah. bit there and I sample everything, right? And that's the best way to do things. So you never have like a real meal. I okay, don't sit down. There. Not usually, no. Little so, by little. You know what we do need in every bread salad? There's a little bit of garlic just because it's coming up. We'll put some garlic in there, right? Absolutely. And we're just going to serve this warm. Now you could serve this, this salad cold too if you wanted to grill off your, your um, veg ahead of time okay. and just serve it cold. But I just thought it'd be nice that we had the two fry pans going. You know, we kind of dominated that first one. We should do the same again. We did very well. I okay, think maybe so. not me so much with the watermelon, but no, whatever. Listen, the end In the products, end, it looks great. It's not how, it's how many, right? That's right. There you go. So now you're grilling your um, tomatoes. Tomatoes. We're going to warm gonna up these some cucumbers. cucumbers. Now, cucumbers. people think that's strange to warm them up, but for some reason, when you grill them off or just warm them in a bit of olive oil, they yeah. just take on all the flavor that's around them. So they're going to take on the, the tomato, they're going to take on the olive oil, and then they still stay crisp. It's like a pickle. Right. It stays crisp, right? And people don't normally think of putting them in a salad that's a warm salad, but i got to tell you, try it out, and you'll be really, really happy with what goes on. It works. i got some grilled... Zucchini here, I did the other oh, day. I'm smelling the garlic, it's great. Let's throw that together. And I mean, it can be really, really rough. You want to have a little bit of bite to everything, right? So you like to grill the zucchini first, is it just to get that flavor? Just to get a little bit of the flavor and put a little bit of darkness on the skin. If not, they look a little pale right against the cucumbers. Okay. So there we go. That looks healthy. Doesn't that look healthy? Yeah, it does. And that looks not healthy. What are you talking about? <laughs> Olive oil. You can have as much of that as you want. Oil now, and look bread. At this. That's what we're going to Go ahead, after. flip it out. You want to give me some salt and pepper? Sure. And I'm going to do the secret ingredient here. On this? Sure. And on this? Beautiful. I love Randy. <laughs> he just lets me do whatever I want. It's awesome. It's all right. I've got fresh mint out of the garden. Nice. Now, the mint really, really works because there's not a lot of really big flavors here. So the mint's going to kind of just cut it up and make it super summery. And okay. I put the stems in. I put everything in because I'm not really afraid. I just sprinkle that in like that, right? Nice. So uh, now, mint so easy to grow as well. You, you just plant a little bit and then it, it takes crazy. over. It goes everywhere. Yeah, right? so it's worth it. How are we looking Stop. so far? I, Look it. Very good. That looks toasty. So we're doing this in real time, which means that if you wanted to do this at home, this is a very easy thing to Six do. You can wait salad. till the guests Six arrive salad. and then start making it, right? Ready? And this is the best part, right? Beautiful. You can wait till the guests arrive. You put it in one pan. Like I said, that cool factor. Just give it a pause. Yeah, I have You're going to go home and practice that, aren't I you? I am. I haven't asked her in a while what she thinks, so hold on a second. Oh, oh boy. Okay, I'm getting nervous so this now. is recipe number three. Are we doing well? Very good. What, what did Delicious. you think about me and the watermelon? <laughs> you, put, you did fine. Okay, thanks, Mama. I appreciate that. Thanks. So we're doing good. She's, she approves. It's she all approves. good. Now, we should have done this at the very, very end, but just a little, yeah. little topper, just a little something, and then you can toss it in a little bit more. Sherry vinegar, just once again, just wakes oh, up nice. all that olive oil, gives it a little something, something. If you want to take some Parmesan. Yes, we do. You know, and grate yes. that in. Let's take some Parmesan. You can do that, right? Because how can we have an Italian salad without a Parmesan? Yeah, you need, you need some yeah. cheese in there. Absolutely. I love it. Give Randy a hand, everyone. 